Is your dream digital marketing job actually a nightmare in disguise? That's right, digital marketing, the darling of the online world, the promised land of remote work and fat paychecks. But what if I told you it might be as overcrowded as a Beyonce concert? Well, stick around, freedom seekers, because in the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna be giving you the brutal truth about digital marketing and show you how to navigate this cutthroat landscape. And your future self will thank me later. Today, we're gonna be diving into the choppy waters of digital marketing. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, Shane, aren't you contributing to the problem by making this video? Fair point, but here's the thing. I believe in arming you with the truth. No sugarcoating, no BS, just facts. And let me introduce you to a concept I called the gold rush paradox. During the California gold rush, do you know who really got rich? It wasn't the miners usually. It was the people selling the shovels, the picks, and the jeans. And in 2024, digital marketing is a modern gold rush. Everybody and their grandma is trying to strike it rich. But is there any gold left or are we just selling each other shovels? Well, to answer this, we need to look at three key factors. Market saturation, skill evolution, and the opportunity landscape. And I call this the digital marketing viability triangle. And by the end of this video, you'll understand if digital marketing is truly oversaturated. But you'll also understand where the real opportunities lie and whether it's the right path for you. But first, let's address the elephant in the room. We need to acknowledge the elephant in the room. Francine. According to LinkedIn, there are over 3.5 million people who list digital marketing skills on their profiles. And that's a lot of competition, folks. But before you close your laptop and go cry in a shower, remember this, not all digital marketers are created equal. And that's where the opportunity lies. So are you ready to separate digital marketing fact from fiction to discover if this gold rush is a boom or a bust? Then let's dive in because it's time to mine for the truth. All right, let's address the big scary monster in the room. Is digital marketing oversaturated? The short answer, yes and no. Here's the brutal truth. We are currently in a secret job recession. Now, of course, governments don't want to admit this because it makes them look bad and then they're less likely to be reelected, but that is the truth. People are not hiring as much, companies are laying people off, and it has to do with many different factors from inflation to the rise of AI. And so jobs in general are significantly harder to get right now than they used to be. And here's another brutal truth. The entry-level digital marketing space is crowded AF. Everyone who's taken a Udemy course thinks they're an expert and spoiler alert, they're usually not. But here's where it gets interesting. While the bottom is still overcrowded, the top is pretty damn empty. Let me throw some numbers at you. There are over 30 million small businesses in the US alone. And guess what? Most of them absolutely suck at digital marketing. And if they didn't suck at digital marketing, they would be making way more money than they are right now. So while there are millions of digital marketers, there's a severe shortage of actually good ones. And the question is, which group do you want to be in? Now let's talk about skills. Posting on Facebook ain't gonna cut it. And digital marketing is evolving faster than my mom's mood swings. And what worked yesterday might be completely useless tomorrow. The two that are the absolute most obvious when you look at the job market are going to be SEO, which is search engine optimization, and pay-per-click skills. Those are the jobs that consistently people are hiring for over and over again. However, there are some other skills that are incredibly important as well, such as content creation, AI and machine learning integration, data analytics and interpretation, and omni-channel marketing strategies. Notice something? These aren't just tactical skills. They require strategic thinking and adaptability. And here's the kicker. Most digital marketers aren't keeping up. They're still living in 2015 using outdated tactics. And this is your opportunity. While others are fighting over table scraps, you can position yourself as a true digital marketing strategist. But fair warning, it won't be easy. You'll need to commit to continuous learning. So are you up for the challenge? Well, there is a free training, which I'll put down in the description and the pinned comment below that will show you how you can get into a lot of these different digital marketing careers, which ones are the best types of digital marketing careers, and which ones are the best for you specifically. And the person who's hosting this free training is my friend Seth, who has helped thousands of people get digital marketing jobs, many of which I've actually interviewed on this channel, such as James, who was able to get a job at 16 years old. And you can check that out by clicking down the description and the pinned comment below. All right, let's talk opportunities because contrary to popular belief, there's still a lot of gold out there to mine. There's gold in them die hills. The easy to find nuggets, they're long gone. You're gonna have to dig deeper. Now let's break down where the real opportunities lie. Niche specialization instead of being a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Become the go-to expert in a specific industry or technique. AI and automation integration. Learn to work with AI, not against it. 
The future belongs to those who can harness the power of AI. The more you try to resist this, the less valuable your skills will be. Data-driven strategy. Move beyond vanity metrics. Focus on real business impact and ROI. For instance, I know channels on YouTube that only get 500 views per video, but they make millions of dollars a year. And then I also know channels on YouTube that get hundreds of thousands or millions of views per video, and they barely make any money. This is the kind of overall strategy that you want to have in mind mind as a digital marketer because not all views are created equally and not all digital marketing strategies are created equally as well. Next is emerging platforms. Try to stay ahead of the curve master new platforms before they become oversaturated. And then the next thing is pretty important because there's a lot of lawsuits and stuff going on right now. And really it's been out of control for a long time. And that's just ethics and privacy focus. So with growing concerns about data privacy, marketers who can navigate this landscape efficiently will be in high demand. And the key is to position yourself at the intersection of these trends. That's where the real gold lies in 2024 and beyond. Now let's talk about the harsh realities, keeping it 100. Reality check number one, the learning never stops. If you're not constantly upskilling, you are going to be failing behind. That Coursera certificate from 2019, it's already obsolete. Reality check number two. It's a 24 seven gig. The internet never sleeps and neither does digital marketing. Be prepared for odd hours and constant notifications. However, there is usually a lot of downtime in digital marketing as well. Reality check number three, it's more math than you think. Data analysis is a huge part of the job and it's becoming more and more important. And it's very important for you to be able to look at data and make sense of that data and then take action on that data. If you can combine the digital marketing skills with the data analysis skills, you are in very, very very high demand. Reality check number four, you will fail a lot. Digital marketing is all about testing and iteration. And by the way, I have a friend named William Chow who teaches people exactly how to do digital marketing mixed with data analytics. And I'll put him down in the description in the pinned comment below so you can check out his channel. But here's the silver lining. If you can push through these harsh realities, the rewards can be pretty sweet. Now let's talk about the salary situation. Because at the end of the day, we all gotta eat. Entry level positions, you're looking at 40 to 60K. Not great, but not terrible either. Especially considering you do not need a college degree to get into these positions. Mid-level with some solid skills, we're talking about 60 to 100K, and you can get there within a few years. And this is where it gets really juicy. Now, if you stack skills, for instance, if you have digital marketing skills, plus you have data analytics skills, and you have some management and leadership skills, then you can move into a position such as senior strategist and manager. And they typically make 100 to 200K per year plus. And then above that, if you run your own agency, well, the sky's the limit. You can make millions of dollars a year. But remember, these numbers are meaningless if you're mediocre. The real money is in being exceptional. So ask yourself, are you willing to put in the work to be in that top tier or are you content with fighting for scraps at the bottom? All right, let's gaze into the crystal ball. Let's look at the future of digital marketing. First of all, AI dominance. AI won't replace marketers, but marketers who use AI will absolutely replace the ones who don't. Embrace AI, it's an incredible tool. It can make your work better. It can make you do work much faster and it can also help you learn much faster as well. Next is hyper-personalization. Generic campaigns will be dead. Everything will be tailored to the individual. Next is voice and visual search optimization. Hey Alexa and Google Lens will change the game. Next is augmented reality integration. Basically, it's gonna be like try before you buy, but in your living room. Another thing that's very likely to be integrated is blockchain for transparency. So you can say goodbye to ad fraud and hello to verified engagement. But the question is, are you prepared for this future or will you be left behind in the digital dust? All right, so time for some self-reflection, freedom seekers. Is digital marketing your ticket to the promised land or is it a one-way ticket to stress city? Ask yourself, do you love constant change and learning? Can you balance creativity with analytical thinking? Are you comfortable with data and numbers? Do you have the patience to test, fail, and iterate? Can you explain complex ideas in simple terms? If you answered yes to most of these, digital marketing might be your jam. But if you're looking for a stable, unchanging career, maybe consider becoming a librarian instead. Actually, that's probably getting disrupted by AI as well. But remember, there's no shame in realizing that it's not for you, and it's better to know now than after years of frustration. With all of that being said, the brutal truth is digital marketing is not for the faint of heart. It's not for the people who can't 
adapt. And if you're looking for a dynamic career that's always evolving, the potential for high earnings and remote work, a field where creativity meets data, and a chance to directly impact business growth, then yes, digital marketing could be your golden ticket. But remember, success in this field doesn't come easy. You'll need to constantly learn, adapt, and overcome. And if you're up for the challenge, here's what I want you to do. Choose a niche and start specializing. Start running your own digital marketing campaigns to either your own website or someone else that you know. This is how you get actual experience is hands-on doing it yourself, getting your hands dirty and actually running digital marketing campaigns. Even if you're just spending five or $10 a day, that's gonna give you so much more experience than all these people that just learn theory, theory, theory and never actually practice it. And that's exactly what Seth helps you do in his training, which I put down the description and the pinned comment below. He focuses on building up your portfolio, doing real projects where you get real experience, creating your own experience in various different creative ways. And this just puts you way ahead of everyone else in the job market, because most people who are trying to get into digital marketing have zero skills. It's all theory. It's all stuff they learned in college that might've worked 10 years ago, but it doesn't work now. So if you have real applicable skills that are working right now on the job, job market because you actually tested it yourself, that is the key to getting into these careers. And by the way, I highly recommend checking out an interview that I did with Seth. So you can get to know him and kind of get to know his story and why he's so passionate about getting people into digital marketing. And you can check that out by clicking right here.